Yeshayahu Isaiah 7. And it came to pass in the days of Ahaz, the son of Yatham, the son of Uziyahu, king of Yahudah, that Retzin, the king of Aram, and Pichach, the son of Remaliahu, king of Yashadael, went up toward Yerushalayim to war against it, but could not prevail against it. And it was told the house of David, saying, Aram is confederate with Ephraim. And his heart was moved, and the heart of his people, as the trees of the wood are moved with the wind. Then said Yahuwah unto El Yahshua, rather unto El Yashayahu, Go forth now to meet Achaz, you and She'er, Yashuv, your son, at the end of the conduit of the upper pool in the highway of the fuller's field, and say unto him, Take heed and be quiet, fear not, neither be faint-hearted, for the two tails of these smoking firebrands for the fierce anger of Ratzin, and rather with Aram, and of the son of Remaliahu, because Aram, Ephraim, and the son of Remaliahu have taken evil counsel against you, saying, Let us go up against Yahuda, vex it, and let us make a breach therein for us, and set a king in the midst of it, Eth even the son of Taveel. Thus says Adonai Yahuwah, It shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. For the head of Aram is Damascus, and the head of Damascus is Retzin. And within threescore and five years shall Ephraim be broken, that it be not a people. And the head of Ephraim is Shomoron, and the head of Shomoron is Ramaliahu's son. If ye will not believe, surely ye shall not be established. Moreover, Yahuwah spoke again unto Achaz, saying, Ask you a sign of Yahuwah Elohecha. Ask it either in the depth or in the height above. But Echaz said, I will not ask, neither will I tempt at Yahuwah. And he said, Hear ye now, O house of David, is it a small thing for you to weary men? But will ye weary at my Elohim also? Therefore Adonai himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth an infant son, whose name is called Emmanuel. Butter and honey shall he eat, that he may know to refuse the evil and choose the good. For before the child shall know to refuse the evil and choose the good, the land that you abhor shall be forsaken of both her kings. Yahuwah shall bring upon you, and upon your people, and upon your father's house, days that have not come, from the day that Ephraim departed from Yahuda, Eth, even the king of Ashur. And it shall come to pass in that day that Yahuwah shall hiss for the fly that is in the uttermost part of the rivers of Mitzrayim, and for the bee that is in the land of Ashur. And they shall come and shall rest, all of them in the desolate valleys and in the holes of the rocks and upon all thorns and upon all bushes. In the same day shall Adonai shave with a razor that is hired, namely, by them beyond the river, by the king of Ashur. 
hath the head, and the hair of the feet. And it shall also consume at the beard. And it shall come to pass in that day that a man shall nourish a young cow and two sheep. And it shall come to pass for the abundance of milk that they shall give, he shall eat butter. For butter and honey shall every one eat that is left in the land. And it shall come to pass in that day that every place shall be where there were a thousand vines at a thousand, rather, thousand silverlings. It shall even be for briars and thorns. With arrows and with bows shall men come thither, because all the land shall become briars and thorns. And on all hills that shall be dug with the mattock, there shall come, rather there shall not come thither the fear of briars and thorns, but it shall be for the sending forth of oxen and for the treading of lesser cattle.